Hello everyone, my name is Dion Morales, host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and you are watching the X-Wing First Edition National Championships at the Nova Open. This is round four, and I am joined this time by... Hey, I'm Blake McKenzie, co-host of Hornet Squadron Radio, and Swing Paint and other various media outlets out there. Stuff and things. Stuff and things. <laughs> it's good to be here. It's good to have you, Blake. Good to have you. So, still have a couple of things to tweak on uh, on our side here. I'm just gonna be working on the overlay. Let's go ahead and break down uh, Jonathan Park's squad. Okay, cool. So we have two Rose Squadron veterans. They both have crack shot, link battery, HLC long range scanners, and the XG1 assault configuration. And they're joined by Quick Draw with Veteran Instincts, Fire Control System, Advanced Optics, Lightweight Frame, and Special Ops Training. So it's just a standard quick jaw and friends. It's good to have friends. Yeah, it's always good to have friends. Just like Blake. Yep. <laughs> and on the left side of your screen, we have Daniel Templin with a, uh, I'm going to assume that's a fa fairly standard Rebel Swarm nowadays. I mean, you don't see the U-Wing thing too much. You, a lot of people are running the five rookie mm -hmm. X-Wing. We actually just had that on stream. 
Um, but now what he's done, he's taken for those same 20 points, replaced it with two U-wings, and these U-wings are able to take up so much space. Yeah. They're great blockers. One of the issues they do have, though, is if you overextend them and get them past the fight, mm -hmm. it takes some time. They're going to be out of position for at least two turns to get really back into yeah, it. Yeah, because they have to uh, turn around. Their turnaround is very, just very, you see it coming. Yeah. Like, you know it's coming. But I guess the other advantage is they're way bulkier than an X-Wing is. And they have the, as long as their wings are open like that, they have the same amount of defense dice. Yep. So we'll see how Daniel can... Uh, can take advantage of this. This is actually the top table. Both these players coming in 3-0 and mm -hmm. uh, into this match. So one of them will leave defeated. Yeah, and that's so I'm excited to see this high-level play. Yeah, I'm, ex I'm actually excited to see the uh, strategy of Daniel here in boys. I mean, he's done, obviously he's done something right to get to this point in the mm -hmm. event. Yep, and then on the right, uh, Jonathan Park flying an archetype that um, it's actually really popular in the Chicagoland area, mm -hmm. this uh, quick draw and two boats. Um, they have, j when you're playing against lower pilot skill ships with these rowboats and you're able to slam around them, it's just such a good defensive tool. Yeah. So I'm sure Jonathan's been, been doing some of that. And also the key is like having these gumbos, like he's starting all together, but I'm expecting him to not keep them in this little block. That yeah, there's a... Uh, there's a there's a little uh, lane right about the middle of the screen underneath the 71 on you guys on your guys in and I'm expecting him to take at least one or both of the ships right there yeah right there is where I'm expecting him to take one maybe two and a third one's probably going to loop around and come behind that's what I'm expecting right that rock right there is such a good pivot point mm-hmm I would agree, and the uh, the gunboats have the speed to do it, and there he's already started the slam a jam. Mm -hmm. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, because I'm I play in the uh, North Carolina Southeast area, and I'm used to going against the quick jaw on the three. Mm -hmm. So I and the, as you said, the advantage of this one is the higher pilot skill, which is pretty key in an, in a, a meta with very low PS right now. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and get our Twitch poll up here in a moment. Oh, boy, you have Twitch polls now. Yeah. Man, fancy stuff going on here. Except they can't spell Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he's, yeah, he stopped the one Ewing at the back there. So there it is. Who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? We have Daniel. You can go ahead and type a one in the Twitch chat and a two for Jonathan. Now, before we go too far, I do want to say thank you to everybody who makes Gold Squadron Podcast possible, all the streams. We literally have been streaming from coast to coast this season. I want to thank everybody. So we have our Twitch Prime subscribers. Literally free money, guys. Go to Amazon. Connect your Amazon account to Twitch. Click that subscriber button. It's free. You can do it every 30 days. It doesn't cost you any money, and it donates $2 and change to the Gold Squadron podcast. We have our patrons, our largest group of supporters who really drive our content. Without them, none of this is possible. And our sponsor for this weekend, Curled Paw Creatives. We have an exclusive coupon code for all of our viewers this weekend. That's NOVA2018, N-O-V-A-2018, for 15% off of all X-Wing and Legion product. There's no minimum order. There's no maximum order. Just a straight 15% off. Go ahead and get take advantage of that now. I can personally say after getting a bulk order from uh, Curl Paw within the past couple days that the, the 2.0 tippets are beautiful. They're well worth the money. And if you, get, if you can get anything off, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'd go ahead and do it. So right now it seems like in the Twitch poll we're at a 50-50 split. So yeah, very surprised because the Daniel has a very good win condition here, which is to prevent the gunboats from getting their actions to prevent the gunboats from doing too much splash damage, which would just be detrimental to them. Now, John of the Parks is also very simple. Just get in there and just do as much damage as you can to yep. the swarm. The thing with these, uh, the gumboats, is they hit as hard as Dash does, mm -hmm. but you got two of them. Yeah, there's right? two if of them. You, get, you have linked battery, 
uh, which mimics the, the lone wolf reroll that, that you have on dash, uh, and you'll be focusing every single time. It's, it can... Uh, yeah, but they both have crack shot, too. They do. They do, yeah. Just push past uh, some of that defense dice. You can nuke... I mean, you can nuke a, uh, a U-wing. Yeah, he could nuke it. Yeah, he, he has the potential to nuke one right off the table. Yep. It looks like he's going to take that joust. He's expecting... Yeah, he's definitely expecting him to go through that lane we highlighted earlier. So he has flight assist astromech. He'll decide if he wants to use it. So it seems like Daniel's opening here is... Uh, he's setting up a net mm -hmm. right now is what he's doing. Has him spread out. Yeah, it wouldn't, he'll collapse that net at some point. Yeah, it wouldn't shock me this U wing down here to make that two turn. Mm hmm So what he might be also doing is taking the U wings and kind of kind of making them bookends, right? Mm -hmm. uh, one on the left, one on the right. Yeah, I can see that. Actually, I can see that totally happening. And I'm going to assume that all the wings are open at the moment? Yes. Awesome. Okay. Open, open, open. Yep. How much are you expecting Quickjaw to go right down the middle of those asteroids? <laughs> I mean, she has to be cagey right now. It seems when I've played against people with my – I was playing an X-Wing Swarm mm -hmm. during store championship season – they would go one forward, barrel back here, just to see, kind of get a feeling for where I was going yeah. and have enough room if they wanted to, to two-turn and come around the backside. So I, if she goes in the center, if Quick Draw takes the time and comes in here, oh, t she's dead. Like, you just you take these X-Men, you go, oh, I, I guess I'll just murder you. You just <laughs> take everything and just you even swing this guy in, three bank, whatever. I'm coming. <laughs> just end up serving her on a silver platter. So I think that would be a big mistake on Daniel's part, and I don't expect him to do that. Oh, interesting. He self-bumped the Ewing. It's in the same spot it's been. Yep. He's yeah. keeping, it, keeping it back before he breaks. Yep, there they go. Slam is very possible. Yeah, looking at uh, at the approach now, I think it's probably going to be better if Jonathan brings both gumboats into mm. the center here because this gauge oh, there is he about goes. to happen. Brought it right in. All right, so quick draw is coming in fast. He's going to try to barrel roll. Does it fit? Looks like it does. Yep. Yeah, he's got it. He's good. <laughs> You're shaking your head over here in disbelief. I, I'm, su I'm very surprised. I know he wants to use quick draw aggressively, but quick draw could very easily lose all those shields in one turn. You can, he'll, she'll get one additional shot. You'll trade one X-wing for almost all, mm -hmm. if not all, of quick draw, and that's not a good trade for Jonathan. So we'll see how it turns out. I mean, you know, if Jonathan goes, you know, three hits, three hits, kill an X-wing, and only takes two, then it works out, right? Yeah. But. I, I'm, I'm not a just huge fan of, of the positioning of Quick Draw because I think she's really compromised uh, in this spot. I mean, he actually has enough enough to actually bail out of that situation. This could be a giant trap for him that he's placing for Daniel. Yeah. Saying, I'm, come and get me. And then she just bails out down south. So you're saying something like a, yeah, two, I'm a saying, two hard yeah. and barrel roll this way? Yeah. And then you... You bring in these gunboats in on the backside. Yeah, and hope that he turns them all in towards quick draw so the gunboats won't get shot. No one's going to get shot. I mean, they they are you know they hit heavier per like per attack mm -hmm. than quick draw. Just the risk with keeping quick draw alive to the end game is if she still has shields and you're down to like two or three of these uh, low initiative jousting ships. Things can get kind of hairy. You start losing a couple multiple ships a turn. Yeah.
I'm super curious what he's what he's going to do with the U-wing in the back. I keep fixating on that because I find it interesting that it's hanging back so far. Also, super interested. We're still at a 50-50 split in the twitch poll. Yep. So get your votes in now. We'll be uh, taking it down after this next round of dials gets started. Then you get too much information. It's too easy. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> always interesting when you can have a view of the players from a good distance. Cause we can see them from where we're standing yeah. right now. And you, this is that turn. This is that, that mm -hmm. feeling in your stomach. This is my favorite part of the game. It's just like the, you're, you're about to jump in. What is going to happen? Is he going to call it? Is he going to uh, you know, guess the maneuver I was going to mm -hmm. do? I can definitely see Daniel over there kind of thinking. I yeah. think in his head he realizes that quick jaw can bail out quickly, and he doesn't want to go all in on her. Yeah, because he has the U-wings down. He's thinking about those X-wings. Particularly, he's thinking about the front two X-wings. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense because the, the U-wings there have really only two good maneuvers that they can make. They can make the three bank left, or they can just go three forward. That's really the only two maneuvers in my head that make sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you if you're going to go in on the... Uh, on the gunboats, you're gonna you're gonna probably gonna want to just bring these guys four forward, mm -hmm. four forward, three bank. Sorry, this mouse is terrible. Three what, bank. What mouse here is it? A trackpad. A trackpad, exactly. <laughs> My mouse broke. Oh man, it's dead. It's dead to me. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm expecting to happen here. But it, it's a little bit of a game of chicken. Right, yeah, it is. Be because if if Jonathan is convinced that Daniel will go, all right, here we go. Here we are. It is a three bank. It's interesting that he's moving. The Ewing first. The U oh no, sorry, they're all those are PS one. That's why they're not PS two. I was thinking of the uh, the blues. Gotcha. Oh, there's a three bank. This Ewing's coming out. I want to play. Yeah. <laughs> and that is the one with Chopper Crew on it, the black one. Sorry about that little photo up there. <laughs> <laughs> Four forward. For X Wing number two. It looks like, oh, he, he covered the base there. And it seems like checking for flight assist here. Has it active? Choosing the barrel roll to the right. I'm and curious to see what, what the plan is here. He's trying to cover every possible scenario with Kirkjaw. Yeah, that's it. I think that's in case Kirkjaw goes down like I think he, he's going to do with him. He's able to get a focus. And this X-Wing should just fit in there. Nicely done. Yeah, he's uh He's got every scenario planned out for where Quick Jaw goes. Okay, just spreading out those arcs. Mm. Yep, every scenario is covered. 
Now let me know what Daniel's game plan is. He's trying to get quick draw on that net there, and he'll just, I guess he's just going to deal with the gunboats later. I'm getting some ship markers out for these guys. There we are. There come both gunboats in. Uh, that back one may not have anything. Looks really far away from number three. And oh my goodness, quick draw. Quick draw is coming Whoa. in. Whoa. That's See, a that's a bump. It's a bump. So here's the thing though, it doesn't really cost her anything. Is it a it's, bump? Yeah, definitely hit. It doesn't cost her anything. She's taken away a shot from Daniel. Mm -hmm. He already had the focus from optics. You're going to get the target lock. All, all you did was reduce the number of shots coming into your quick draw. That's pretty. So it's it's a, a great move. Um, if Daniel hadn't gone as fast with uh, number two, then... Um, well, anyway, we'll see. Let's see. First shot here, range one into X-wing number one. That's going to be two, two shields. shields. Yep. I'm oh, sorry. No, that was into the U-wing. Two shields on the U-wing. All right, here come the gunboats. Which one is being shot? Ooh, There's four dice. I mean, that that's the expected damage. All four. That's going to be X-Wing number two. That's the lead one there. Ooh, two cards. It's into the same target, presumably. Presumably. Link battery. Four that, hits. That is some outrageous damage. There goes X-Wing 2, I think. Yeah, should be done. One plus integrated. All right, let's see what Daniel can do here to retaliate on that. He's just got three shots coming in the quick draw. Yep, quick draw will return fire back into that U-Wing. If he loses any shields, just one. That's a focus, two focus with lightweight frame. Deciding whether to just take the shield or hold the focus for the next attack. Taking the shield. And here's the retaliation. Target lock with FCS. This is on uh, number one. That's going to be three. Takes two more on that U-wing. That's going to be the first damage card on it. Oh, no, sorry. That's going to be the last two shields. Excuse me. Yep, blast your shields off of it. Two dice into quick Ooh. draw. Two evades. Three. Three evades. <coughs> <coughs> quick draw said not today. It's range one from uh, the U-wing. Three hits. Whoa, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch clip that. Yeah. <laughs> wow, quick draw only taking one wow. shield in that entire engagement is ridiculous. That's a super win for Jonathan. Wow. I think, you know, that's the kind of turn that can really flip a game mm. initially. So if we had one of those, like, uh, a head meters that we could adjust, which I'm working on getting getting something like that in the stream, um, advantage Jonathan yeah, right that, now, for that sure. That would have been, yeah. Like it, is, it, is, it really tips the balances in his favor Makes because sense. trading mm. an entire X-Wing for one shield on quick draw. No, not even just an entire X-Wing. He traded. He went half points on his U-Wing as well. Oh, there you go. Well, 30 points given up. For for nothing. Yeah. Well, 
We're going to go ahead and get some markers on the uh, the rows as they're going to be probably breaking out here pretty soon. Yeah, those. if those rows shoot next turn, I'll be a little surprised, but... I guess the real question is, where do we think Crookjaw is going to go? Like, there's options. There's lots of options. But every option I see gets blocked. Like, Crookjaw tries to K-turn. That one U-wing's probably going to be in the, the back U-wing's probably going to be in the way. Mm -hmm. Crookjaw tries to uh, turn in towards the uh, Rose Squadrons. I can see one of those X-wings being in the way. Might be a sloop to the left. Probably a sloop to the left. Yeah, three-bank sloop. Seems to be the safest move. It's most, yeah, I mean, because if, if you get blocked, oh well. Yep. Yeah, those, those rows are either, they're higher PS skills, so they can, that's really good that he can just kind of decide what he wants to do with them. Like if they end up range one or something and can take it out, he'll probably stick them there. If not, they're probably slamming away. Important to note, they both still have their craft shot. Yep. They did have an opportunity to use it, just never did. Yeah, they never did. That's, yeah, this just tipped in Jonathan's favor for the moment. He didn't have to give up the craft shot or anything. There go the U-wings. <coughs> Brought U-wings attempting to catch something. Its best chance is probably going to be catching number two. Those X-Wings moved. All right, so Daniel choosing to disengage. Interesting. I think he's just trying to take a turn off. Like, let's, let's try to come in from a different angle, mm -hmm. re-engage, because plan A didn't work. Because if he continues just to, just to joust with, uh, with these Alpha classes, you're gonna, he's going to lose. Interesting. Might fit. Does hey, if it fits, it sits. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my arm out of the way. Does that look? That seems to be legit. It is. It's good. Maybe. Nope. 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 Saw the snap of the fingers. It must have been some daylight between the template and there. That was close. Alpha number one is going to be, or number two is going to be getting uh, bumped there. So no focus. So here comes Alpha number one coming in. Beautiful spot for it to be right there. Well, one thing it does for the white U-wing there is you're avoiding the heavy laser cannon. You're mm -hmm. getting three dice with a, with a re-roll and a focus, but... You're at least avoiding that HLC. Quick draw comes in to threaten that. Uh, oh man, he's got the dream shot. He's got front and back, he's both got, at range one. He does. Is he doing it? He is doing it. Yep, there's three. This has to be the front first, according to the rules. That's two off the black Ewing. 
Here comes the bat. Just one there, has a target lock from before. This is on the other wing. Yep. So hit crit. No focus. Yep, yeah, there's a focus. Yeah, there it is. One. It's the, the wooden one, so no damage on that one. Oh, well, yeah, it doesn't matter. He got to do the dream. Yep. Oh, my goodness. This is heavy laser cannon into that X Wing. That should be two shields on a hole. Yep. X Wing number three. Goes down the two and integrated. Here comes the next shot. Man, this damage is brutal. Well, he only has link battery on this. This is just one die. So two hits. Blanks has to eject the droid. <laughs> no, wait, what? I think he forgot. Did he, he forgot. And, I'm, and it happens, you know. This is it's been a long day. This is it already has. round four. It's, we started really early, so some people are, are tired. And uh, Daniel might have just, uh, you know, chalked this one up, saying, "Hey, this one's not going to go my way. Mm -hmm. Let's get out of this game, have some time to rest." And yeah. this is his only lost. And uh, the way the math works out, a majority of four and twos come out uh, are going to be in the cut. So. It's all about just making the cut. Yeah, see, like yesterday, only three, four, and twos missed the cut. Yep, exactly. And today, even less. Yeah, there's even less players today. They're just they're by, by only a few, but it makes it so that at least we, we'll have like maybe like one, three, uh, four, and two miss or two. Yeah, if, if that even. Let's see what we got going on here. He's got the Ewings down pretty quickly. Stops, perhaps? I mean, the sloop on quick draw is, with that stop, I mean, that's going to that's gonna land real nice there outside of the arc. But Daniel wants to try to get some points out of this. He doesn't want to get tabled. Yeah, table will be a disaster here. I mean, at this point, man, the eat. Like, it doesn't really matter if he goes to the Rose Squatch at this point. They're all pretty basically the same health. Yep. So he's only able to work one shield off Quick Shot earlier. Yeah. The decision here, you know, strategically is do you. Where do you commit your resources in order to try to get some points? And that's the strength of these heavy laser cannon rows is, man, they hit so hard that they flip a game yeah. very fast. Um, the issue is you know, their weakness is when you have people who jump out of, like, out of range into their face at range mm -hmm. one and constantly keep them so that they have to slam defensively, yeah. Then they're not doing what they're what what you paid for, which is to, to hit. Which is a pretty good that's a pretty good rule of thumb for munitions overall. It's just to try and he either dodge the arc or you just slam in, into their blind spot. Here comes the one X Wing coming back around. Realizes wait a minute, all my friends just died. <laughs> And both of wings did stop. There were heroes on that mission. <laughs> Dead heroes. There, no there's, leaders. There are heroes on both sides of the war. <laughs> Ooh, that Ewing just fit in there. Ah, ah. Now he bumped. The first one bumped. This one will just get past... 
and may have range to that rookie pilot. I think he does have the range. Yeah, he's definitely got the range. I think you just focus up. I don't you think, haven't taken any damage. I don't think that first one, but has, has a focus token next to it. That's a target lock. That's a target lock? That's a target lock, yeah. Stupid tokens. Yeah, that's actually the uh, original target lock that FFG put out. There is the sloop we talked about. All right, how much is left on that black one? Uh, the black one has taken two shields. You know what I'm equally surprised about is he didn't he didn't close the wings on the white one, knowing that they were either going to run into him or go past him. There's quick draw. One with the target lock, just one. Safe. Whatever that was going to. I was going to the, the white, white one. one. Yep. The white one has shields down. This is the range one from Alpha class number one. Hit, crit, crit. It's going to be hit, crit, taking off those uh, shields on the black one. Last of the shields gone. And, yep. It's got it. Heavy laser cannon obstructed. Has full modifiers. Link battery, no need to spend that target lock. And that'll be three. So he spins the token, just one. So one shield off of rookie, number one. Rookie going back into it, I guess. It's return fire. Just one. And he's <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan's of eight dice, my <laughs> yeah, and actually, doing magic. Um, yep, this is the range one, range back. Whoa, taking three, three shields off. Thrust control fire, quick draw. No, was that in the quick draw? No, no. All right, he must have taken damage earlier because he took a lot more than what I have here. So, three shields. He took one, two, three cards. He has one haul. One haul and a stress from thrust control fire. Interesting. I wonder where he took the damage. Oh, you know what it was? It's probably during that last round of fire. Yeah, yeah, there you go. But the X-Wings probably went into him. I'm also curious as to uh, Daniel's plan with that white U-wing. If the plan here is just to like do a do a two-turn, or maybe to completely disengage with it. Again, I'm very, I'm very surprised he didn't close the wings on it, knowing that his that uh, Jonathan ships had to either run into it or go by, or go past them. And especially here, because if, if if we assume that he knew Crookjaw was going to sloop. Mm -hmm. Then he knew it was range three, and he'd get two dice no matter what. Yeah, I mean he's uh, he's Take. look he's that's just not his strategy. He's coming around uh, around the long way, which maybe this is the whole reason why he staggered these U wings, right? Mm -hmm. you, you take one in, you let it cause havoc. Bring one in, let it cause some havoc. Bring them around. Yep. And then while the other one is is taking up some time getting blocks like mm -hmm. the black one is about to do here, just getting in the way with that large base ship. Actually, Jonathan's not too careful. That one X-Wing that's still been left alive can really cause some trouble. Mm -hmm. yep, there it is. That was the expected maneuver. Yeah, so from that position, neither of the Alpha classes can get a shot on the rookie.
Daniel's probably hoping for a bump with number uh, Alpha Class number one He's onto the U wing. Probably going to get quick draw on the bump too. Yeah, he's got a he's got to get quick draw on this one. There goes number two, going away. Probably got to slam here. Sure does. I can see Dion being up at seven in the morning. He's getting to him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get that one. So that's a two bank. And we'll probably also get a slam here. Should be towards the bottom of the board as well. Yep, yep, there, there it is. is. So you, with these ships that slam like this, when you're out of range and out of arc, you go towards the bottom because you can get your guns back on target sooner. Mm -hmm. That's something I figured out with, with the uh, K-Wings and slamming. Mm -hmm. I just slam them towards really any board edge. Yep, Works out. yep there's the block. So quick draw might get shot from the rookie. The question is, does quick draw have an uh, arc on the rookie? Return, no, he does not. Does the rookie have arc on, it th on him, though? Yes. yes. Range three through a rock. So that'll be three on three dice. Three hits to That's nothing. That's. So that's Four. the last two shields. One, two. Actually, he's down to one. Uh, uh, it was four dice. Okay, so quick draws down to one hole. No, he's not two. Yeah. Three. Uh, two. Sorry, yep. my bad. My bad. We got. <laughs> You got, I believed you. Now I got the green dice and the red dice mixed up. <laughs> All right, so down, down to two hole. That means that Quick Draw's ability only got off one time this turn, uh, this game. That is definitely to Daniel's advantage. Because we know that uh, attacks where you can shoot back are extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. This game is much, much closer than it. It's working back into Daniel's favor slowly. Just it, does he have enough time? Yep, he's grinding it out. He's grinding it out. He's doing what he has to do. I think that was super smart, getting that U wing out of there. Mm -hmm. So, by by getting that U wing out of there, you avoid taking shots from quick draw on the normal attack and the retaliation that would have right. happened, and uh, and you're saving points. You're saving yourself twenty points. That looks like they're just correcting Quick Draw's position. Yeah. Head bumped while they were putting uh, the U Wing back on. Now we got a dancing U Wing on the table. It's <laughs> like, wait, what? Sloop? <laughs> <laughs> this That's is, new. This isn't 2.0 yet. This, look at that cool trick. <laughs> Up, and he's got the wings closed. Planning on spinning around next turn. Here comes that U-wing. That one will probably also close. Yep. Here comes that X-wing. He said, hey, look, I'm oh. going to go down swinging. That X-wing's reasonably healthy, too. Four, yep. four hole, basically one shield. He'll, he'll trade shots with quick draw, but not the alpha classes. They're, they're too far down the board mm -hmm. that when they hard two, their arc will not be on. Oh, okay, and he's coming coming farther. Yeah, they're definitely not going to get a shot. Yeah, well, number one is, is hurt. It has only one hole left, so you kind of want to keep that one out of the fight. You don't want to give up those points if you don't have mm -hmm. to. Just deciding to slam. Yep, there it goes. So next round, definitely, they should maybe have a shot. No, they're definitely going to have it next round. That 
That arc should land, if I, if I have my angles right, should be just outside of the rookie. Quick draw's getting shot up, though. There's nowhere she can go. All right, range one. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, just give as much as you can. Burn brightly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quick draw believes she has a firework. He'll drop the focus here, most likely. And he was thinking about barrel rolling to the right to see if he can arc dodge. No space for that, so he'll just trade the shots. So you wing staying in that spot. Good uh, good choice here. Four Ooh. hits. Why spend the focus? Yeah. Um, he's choosing to spend the focus defensively. He'll take two in the droid there. Check an arc there. You see Daniel saying, no good. X-Wing should have two hole remaining if he ejected the droid. No. That's what he has got to do. Okay. So. so I think Quick Draw just died? Yes. Yes, that's huge. Quick Draw off the table. Daniel scoring himself 36 points. Hard earned 36 points there. So balance is starting to tip back into Daniel's favor. If he can get rid of Alpha Class number one without losing another ship, he's in a good spot. The problem mm -hmm. is that he that these rows shoot before him. So yeah, that's the issue. <laughs> that's going to be very hard to do. Um, I mean, so we both, we know what the e wings are doing. It, yeah, they're turning around. They're turning around. The X wing has a couple options. Hmm. Not many. I mean, one of them, one of those options that I'm looking at can potentially get him into range one or even block one of those rows. And because the option I'm looking at is the three turn down towards the bottom of the board to try and catch the one there. There's no, there's nothing you can do about the one at the very top. No. There's not. But Flatus's astromech is gone, which would have definitely got you to a spot where you could have mm -hmm. been safe. Here it goes. Turn, Turn it around. They spin my head right. That's as far as we can go. That's as far as we can go right there. That's it. <laughs> Wings back open. Stressed. I do like the uh, turnaround in second edition much better than the first edition. Oh, man. It's, it's so much better. It's so good. Especially the uh, 90 degree. Yes. One is, that's excellent. Let's see what the choice was here. He's going down, saying, hey, if that alpha class comes in fast, I get a block. Like, that's... Yep. That's your best chance right there. And even, even then, it, if he lands range one, that's that's better for him. Yeah, exactly. You reduce the number of dice coming in by one. It's still fully modded, but hey, it, you did something. <laughs> I tr you're you're supposed to try, yeah, yeah. and that's <laughs> what he's doing. I didn't say not try. <laughs> Yep, there we are. Doesn't have to do anything else. Just hang out there. Be trading shots with the U-Wing. Is that the one that's hurt, number one? Yes, has yes. one hole left. That. There we are. And Jonathan does go with the safe move there, so be trading two shots. You shoot. Um, if you're Jonathan, best move here is to shoot at the range one shot at the X-Wing mm. first and then switch the heavy. If you kill it, switch the heavy laser cannon. Yeah, he has a chance to, to take off two ships in one one go here. Gotta, I believe in that, that X-Wing. Believe. I have some faith. Oh, that was a loud judge call. 
Man, just kind of, you know, you know hindsight's 50, uh, you know, 20 20 here. If you would have closed those wings and then just done a boost action. Like, I know he's still, he's still taking the heavy laser cannon to the side, mm -hmm. but he reduces the number of shots, takes away that focus token. There we are. Three. No, he's gone. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying, though? If he would have yeah. closed the wings and then the boost. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, because he never actually closed the wings ever in this game. Yeah. Not even at the beginning, which is normally when I do it. Yep. I don't. I don't know how you do it, but I start. It. De it depends. I guess I'm not playing first edition anymore, so it doesn't matter. So. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's completely no, dependent. No, it matters because second edition has it as well. That's just true. That's true. It's completely dependent on, on which formation I open up with. Um, sometimes I have them mixed. Mm -hmm. Depends on what's going on. And there comes. No hits there. Could not take out that alpha class. So Daniel's hoping to get, uh, you know, so he has to do one damage to get that alpha off the board. Uh, did we miss a shot? Did he not take the uh, shot with number one into the Ewing? Say that again. Did he not take the shot from number one to the Ewing? He did. He missed. He missed. He, he okay. whiffed two blinks and a focus. Ooh. So we have 26 minutes left in the round. Probably got maybe two more rounds, maybe three left in this uh, round four game. We have two more games coming later on. Make sure you stick with us. And, of course, we have our top 64 cut. We're going to be making a bracket tonight, posting that online for everybody to look at and have some fo fun voting on where you think uh, the matchup wins are going to happen. Yeah, we did that last year here, mm -hmm. and it was super fun. Yep. Yep, there's that Ewing just trying to cause as much chaos as he can. Trying to give give his partner some time to get into the fight. I think his partner's in the fight now. Takes a focus. I need to kill that alpha class. The black Ewing is at one hole. There's may have. Uh, one, two, get us. Thank you. Thank you very much. So Jonathan deciding to disengage with Alpha Class number one. It's a smart move. Like, there's no reason to let it take damage. Yeah, there's zero, there's zero reason. Uh, he's got it. Trade shots here. He does have link battery. So at least has an uh, expectancy of three hits. All right, well, this expectancy's going up. Three and a half now, and gets four. There it is, and one. So, so he's going to be taking three hits. That Ewing is also at one hole. Hit Ewing crit. fires back, hit crit. And takes a crit, but I think he still has shields on that yep. one. So yep, two has shields. All right. Oh, I know the mistake I made. Earlier, I accidentally, when I when the U-wing damage happened, I took it off th this row with shields. Gotcha. Okay. That's that's what I did. That's what happened. All right. So this is uh, probably the last round, or next to the last round. Now let's let's talk about some unlikely but possible win conditions. Okay, for Daniel. I know that he seems like he's he's he is in a very he's in a tough spot. Tough spot. So if Daniel can use these U-wings. Oh, no, both U-wings have one hole remaining. Yes. Okay, if so. If he can use these U-wings to try to get one damage on number one, you continue blocking and swapping them out and hopefully get, get some more shots into number two, you never know what could happen. If you, have, if you have both of them alive, I think as soon as you get down to one, that's where things really swing. But you got to try. See, he got the block on that one. All right, good start. Yep, number one's just going to get out of here. So 
Slam a jam. Slam and jam. Hey, Out of range there. You can buy those wonderful slam and jam tokens from Carol Paul Creatives. <laughs> That's right. Hey, look at that. I could still do I could still do sponsor plugs. <laughs> I guess the better question is, what are the odds mm -hmm. that Daniel actually gets to shoot? Number, Number one. Um, I mean, it's it's low, but Daniel is taking the shorter path, right? He's going on the inside of the board. Mm -hmm. If Jonathan doesn't find a cut point where he can get behind and, uh, and around, Daniel could catch him with enough time. The question is, will he have enough time? That's what we don't know. Yeah, we can't even see them anymore. There's so many people in between us. Yeah. Lots going on. A big convention. There's, I think, what, 4,000 people here this year? I, I don't even know the number, but I know there's a lot. Yeah. I think that's what I heard from Roy when we were talking to him yesterday. That's awesome for the Nova Open, especially it being a charity, charity uh, organization and event. Yep. Year number nine. So that was a slam there from the uh, gumbo number two. Yeah, number one's out of here. Just to, to get behind the black U-wing and take it off. <coughs> That's a really close arc on there. Well, he, he slammed, so he couldn't shoot. So he'll get him this next turn. Not even with the uh, extreme one assault configuration? Or does that just give you an extra? That just gives you the cannons and... Um, you can't shoot with four dice turrets. There's gotcha. a, there's our there's, cannons. There's rules. Like there's rules. There's there's rules that prevent you from shooting heavy. There's laser. rules. You can shoot jam, jamming. Uh, jam beam. Jamming beam in. You can equip the car. Yep. I have the wrong one on there. No, I'm looking at the wrong card. This one. There we go. Cost two points. Yep. There it is. Sweet. I should play X-Wing 1.0 more often. <laughs> I have definitely been in the land of 2.0 since, Gen, since Gen Con, just trying to trying to prep for you guys. We have Coruscant coming up, the Minoc Open, Gold Squadron Classic, all these major events, Crossroads Classic. Hold on, Gold Squadron Classic. Yeah. Hold on, we're going to have to talk more about this. So uh, it, was, it was a bit of an impromptu thing. Um... While at the same time, our the gentleman in our store, who we called Gold Leader, he's the guy in charge of all Star Wars gaming, in uh, at Pastimes, our store. Mm -hmm. He uh, he wanted to do a charity event for his Boy Scout troop. Okay, and it kind of sprang from there because they lost uh, all of their camping camping equipment in an accident. And uh, I said, well, let's, let's try to get it all back. Let's try to, try to make something happen. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it sucks that they all started a camp here, but it's, it's cool to see the community come around and try and help them out. Yep. And we get to play X-Wing 2.0 and make a bunch of cool prizes and stuff. Like, yeah, I'm there excited. you go. That is a Ewing down. He rolls Natty 2s on that and on still that. dies. Man, that's... Salt that in the wound. Sucks. That stinks. All right. Down to one, U Wing. Daniel fighting to the bitter end. He, he put on a good fight to try and come back from where he was. You see what I'm talking about? That that uh, that shortest path. How mm -hmm. in like two turns he'd be able to catch. You know, Assuming they would keep going, right? In two turns, he'd probably be able to catch that gumbo about in this area yeah. right here by just continuing that vector, assuming that he came this way. 
He's not going to not going to get that chance. Yeah, Jonathan's not going to give him the chance. Link battery. Yep, that's game. Yep. We'll see the handshake here pretty soon. Natty twos again on the end there. <clears throat> well, I want to thank Daniel and Jonathan for playing. Thank you so much. Great game. Come on in here, Blake. Hey, I'm here. This is Blake. Hey, what's up? I, look, I'm, I promise. I'm civilized. It may not look it, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you guys all for watching. Thank you to our patrons, our Twitch Prime subscribers, and our sponsor for this weekend, Curled Paw Creatives. Use our exclusive coupon code NOVA2018 to get 15% off of all X-Wing and Legion uh, acrylics. Second edition's coming, guys. Time to upgrade all that cardboard because we've got a bunch of new new cardboard. With diff You have to have like different shapes and force tokens, all this mm -hmm. stuff. Let's go ahead and get upgraded to, uh, to second edition. Need those Oop. templates, too. Yeah. Got so to get those lines. We have how much time was left in the round uh, here? Like there was 16:23 left. So uh, we'll be back in about half an hour, roughly. Roughly about half hour with uh, round five of day one B of the national championship at the Nova Open.